see where we are here. Brother Keith, we got audience going on? All right, audience is here. How come we don't have any, uh, can't see us? I see something here. All right, anybody with us? Why is mine not working? I don't know. <laughs> oh. Mine always comes on sooner on my, my phone than, uh, yeah, maybe I have to push join. And, uh, yeah, there's something going on. Hey, hey, Brad, can you hear us? Yeah. Let us know. We're making our connections yeah. here. Uh -huh. we're, we're, uh, hey, I'm on the phone. How come we're not on our monitors? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, Very strange. Sakes. Very strange. Well, grab your coffee. You'll have a couple chances to grab your coffee this morning. Yeah, I don't even see it on my webpage no. here. But it's definitely right, let's, uh, let's go to here. All right, we're getting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not us there. That was last week. Okay. Oh, oh no, I just saw us. That's that shirt. Yeah, it wasn't wearing okay. the shirt last week. Kind of weird. There we are. I see us on the computer. Well, yeah. why don't we go ahead and um, kick this thing off there, uh, Brother Keith? Okay. And as hey, we're uh, doing our guess introduction. What, guess what time it is, Joel? What, uh, Keith, what? What time is is it well saturday morning it's beautiful out which is kind of weird so you might not know what time it is but it is time once again for smack and jack live <clears throat> here in lovely southern chester county on a saturday in november uh we got a lot of stuff going on for you we got some announcements we got a four percent quote we got jokes of the day we got trivia which we missed last week we brought it back uh facts uh trivia answers birthday minute we got the whole thing today so grab your cup of coffee Sit back, relax, and we got our flannels on because it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day special. That's right. We'll be right back. All right. Here we go. Five, From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smack and Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Slenderman. <laughs> there it goes. Well, our uh, yes, our monitors, our everything's monitor. falling apart this morning. Good morning, Barbara. Good morning, Brad. Uh, it's a lovely morning here in Chester County. And as you can see, oops, wait a minute. It's it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Well, it's right really there. hard to right do there. that. Right, right there. The, the cornucopia. Cornucopia. That's, it looks kind of like a little Monty Python thing. I was waiting for it to go across the screen. And <laughs> well, I, you know, I probably could do that. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, folks, is I couldn't couldn't get too much sound out of my iPad again, so I'm getting it out of my phone now and it sounds good. Okay. But with my new iPhone, did I ha was I able to plug in this eighth inch jack? No, because the new iPhones don't, don't have, have them anymore. anymore. No, of course not. So then we have to fish for this little adapter that does come with the phone. Uh. But I had to go into my bag to grab that out and then plug it into my phone here mm. just to make sure we got some monitorial system going on. There's something new. It's called, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It, it's called um, uh, 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 Google. What, what do they call that? Uh, if you don't have Apple, you have. It's, I don't know. Econobuy? Oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Wah, wah. Well, he bit, got me up my. Uh, how come we can't uh, our audience. Oh, no. Our audience keeps going out on us. <laughs> What is it called? Android over there? Android, like that? right. That's what I was trying to get at, but you already... I think you, you have know, the original one. Yeah, I do. Built in 1876 right there. <laughs> year, uh, 100 years after the... The Pilgrims came, right? The Pilgrims. Or 200 years after they came. <laughs> 250 years. All right. All right, there let's go. go. Yeah, what's going on? Good to see everybody it's today. Thanksgiving. Yeah, uh, thanks in a couple for being days. Here, yeah. So this is our Thanksgiving special. I uh, hope everybody's got their plans and uh, starting yeah. to cook and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you, got, you better have your plans kind of set up by now. Yes. Uh, or you could wing it when you get to Wednesday or Thursday. I, that's what I'm probably going to do, as usual, par, par usual. Hey, Brad. I'm sorry. Hey, Brad, Barbara, Terry, Jim. Good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what else happened two days ago? Really, out we of the blue, had, out of the white. Yeah. We had a bit of a nor'easter. Was it called a nor'easter or was it yeah, just a know. snowstorm? I don't know. Did they call that one a nor'easter? I don't no, know. I don't but know. We, we had... Um, here in southeastern Pennsylvania, I think all up and down the eastern seaboard, we had a snow uh, yeah. event. A snow event, indeed, we did. So we actually uh, had something that they were calling. Yeah, uh, actually, they wasn't 
supposed it was they weren't calling for it to be as bad as it was right so a little but, bit worse uh, than uh, what we were expecting for it so um yep so my school got out early we dismissed kids around 12 okay uh, but of course all the buses were late <clears throat> getting to the school to dismiss the kids so the kids really didn't get out till about almost one o'clock so that meant during all these kids you know kind of like in limbo right waiting no. for a bus to be called and the buses were coming in one at a time uh. um so uh yeah i ended up because i had to take caroline i picked up caroline at the nurse's office at her school because she wasn't feeling well we went from there directly to the doctor's office oh, goodness. We ended up getting home around 4.30, oh. so very interesting. So anyway, we have a little bit of, uh, we have some pictures of that event. This is a picture of me coming home. That was Baltimore Pike. This is out my um, classroom window. Okay. And those are not UFOs in the top. Those are the reflections. Oh, I, don't know. I thought they were. And gonna... that is, uh, Linda, that's your uh, backyard. You said okay. that must have yeah. been right when the snow started. Yeah, because it, it got worse after that. Yeah. Um, and, and the and new tundra. Yeah, yeah the brand covered. new tundra out there. Covered with snow. Looks and like now, a Christmas ornament now. Equally white, covered with salt. Yes, right? yep, it looks right. about the same. Yeah, so that was uh, that was how things were going. And uh, just a little bit of information um, regarding that particular snow event is that um, the 3.6 inches measured officially at Philadelphia International Airport was not only the record for the 15th, in Philadelphia, but it was the biggest snowfall so early in what we could call the season in 65 years. Wow, 65. Yeah, 65 years, so pretty amazing. So I have to say that I'm slightly irritated that the um, the leaves that I need to rake <laughs> today are... They're still there. Kind of, well, they're still there. They're underneath kind of a little bit of snow. Right now under a little bit of snow. And the, and the yard, again, is so oh, messy. Yeah. I can't run the tractor over it because it'll be just making a mess. And you know the neighbors are going to talk. Yes. They're going to, no matter what their yard looks like, they're going to be going by and pointing at Joel's house. That's right. They're going to say, at him. look at that slacker. Up that mess. Oh, goodness. And you know, you know, my neighbors, you know, especially the one on the one side with uh, that never ever rake their leaves right in the whole 20 years we've been living in the house since leaves were invented <laughs> that's right <laughs> they're really going to be talking okay so is that all yeah, we have about the quite snow something. Uh, okay yes. so that's our big snow uh message of the week we're in a winter wonderland already you know the interesting thing is the snow is still here i thought i thought for sure it's going to be gone by now yeah well when it, it, it was raining it was raining. Uh, yeah. Night. Was it Wednesday or and Thursday? It got windy. Thursday night. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was pouring buckets, and I thought that would have all washed away, but it didn't. So the snow yeah. is still with us, folks. And that and the, the three point five at the airport that must have been the lowest because we definitely got six. Yes. Out of well, here. you know what? They measure that near. Uh, I I wrote about that. They read, they they have their meter like in a swampy area near one one of the runways. So that is always lower. Okay. Than, <laughs> why, Anywhere. Why would they put it there. Yes. You know. Yes. Anyway, so, so okay. hope that doesn't happen again for a while. Yeah, That's okay, fine. so moving on, a uh, little bit of history. Uh, last week, uh, we had our Starfest Bazaar at Christ Church, mm -hmm. and I received notice uh, th from our uh, church administrator that the, the, the Starfest raised $6,800 for the That's church good. last week. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, Very so good. we, well, we thanks. went, we, uh, yeah. we did, um, I got a raffle, or not a raffle, an auction. Okay. I won a, um, a gift card to Stevens on State. Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah nice so I place. paid I paid uh, twenty two dollars for a twenty five dollar gift card. Nice! Yeah, right. everybody <laughs> wins. Everybody I wins. Three dollars right. that one, right? <laughs> Where's um, our audience? Can, can we keep our audience? Yeah, waiting? sorry about that. And then uh, then we had lunch there. It was good. It was a good time. So nice. Um, Very nice. Yeah. All right. Now today's event is the um, the craft fair at um, Pancrest High School. Okay. And move that back. I hear the computer fan starting up there. <laughs> we, oh, don't wanna, uh, we don't want to irritate the computer at all. So <laughs> I moved it back to make sure it's getting enough air there. Um, so I want to show you the um, the Pancrest Band Holiday Craft Fair is today. Craft show at the Pancrest High School. Uh, I was that there is for the band? That's uh, Yes. So that helps raise money for their trip to Florida wow. this year. Yep. Um, so lots of stuff. They have over 100 vendors there. I was there helping set up last night. They have vendors all the way down the hallways, um, in the cafeteria, and, and all over. Good, so they, I guess this is pictures from past, past years. Um, but that is going on today. So if you're in the media area, again, stop by Pancrest High School. 
134 Barron Road, 19063. Great. And being that that's my alma mater, uh -huh. and it's great that they're going to Florida, because when I was in school quite a long time ago, we had a fundraiser, uh, and we didn't quite make it. We were hoping to go to Kensington that year. <laughs> I didn't get there. Huh? How's that? You huh? did not make it. Didn't make it to you Kensington. Make it. So, uh, well, but anyway, I'm so it's, sorry it's, to hear that, Keith. Yes. <laughs> Tough times, you know, back before electricity and all right, that. Right. Is, you know. So right now, again, I'm, I forgot to uh, wake up our audience so it doesn't go to sleep on us in 30 seconds. Ah, so that's there what There you okay. go, yeah. So as, as soon as I can get Keith to learn how to operate the, the audience here, um, we'll be back with you. Our, our, uh, Jim, our, stop by. Uh, Jim Ross. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. All right. And, uh, all right. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Now we're on. Yes, we okay. are. All right. So does that bring us up to uh, date here? Happy yeah. Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Snow, yep, yep, Pancrest, yep. Starfest. Yeah. So we're a little bit light on the announcements this week. Yeah. Other than our, our stickers. Oh, right. Yeah. I meant to. Magnets. We still have them. Stickers. Oop. Stickers and magnets. Magnets go anywhere. They go on rentals. Uh, stickers go permanently just about anywhere, too. So if you want them, just, just let us know. We'll send you out a yeah. couple. And, and let us know. Look, this has actually been in use. That's right. These pens really work. They well. are nice. They're very say. nice. Yes. Uh, so hit, hit us up for a Smack and Jack pen. We have oodles of pens, and this is actually something you can use. Mm, yes. Yeah. So let us know. And uh, you can leave them anywhere, too. It's nice to just leave a pen somewhere and pe people pick it up Smack. And wh what's that all about? Mm -hmm. Very good advertising. Good idea. Yeah. All right. So let's, let's move on. We're going to get to, uh, I'm not going to show you anything technical today about uh, the 4%. All or right. what I've been working on with the website, because quite frankly, this week I didn't get to do much work on the website. I, I had something to do every single night this week, so it, it makes it tough, right? Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, what I what I want, wanted to do share with you is um, a quote from Vic Sreisus in one of his um, uh, session two of the challenge, and um, I, you know I was just watching, and he he mentioned a couple things that I I thought, wow, that's that's really kind of powerful. So anyway. Um, he's talking about kind of building your future and kind of things that you want. And he said, yeah, a lot of times our goals come down to monetary numbers and so forth. Mm -hmm. So to that effect, he said, bless all that you like. If you see a beautiful car, God bless that person who owns the car. or God bless that person who's driving the car. If you see a beautiful house that you really love and you think, wow, just God, you know, bless that person. Um, never be jealous. Jealous is a disease. Uh, never be resentful to those who are successful. Um, now, I know that um, success comes in many, many different ways. Um, but I think we all can um, um, associate. As uh, thank you. Associate <laughs> um, when we see somebody maybe in a beautiful car and we think, ah, how do they afford that or something? And you become a little bit resentful. But isn't that exactly what we Everybody would like to have for ourselves? For, yes. Right? And, and one of the, it was so timely because on Monday, I stopped in media to drop off a package. I was returning some, something, and I dropped it off. There were two, I believe there were probably lawyers standing out on the street. They were talking about cars. And I heard him one, the, the one gentleman say, well, you know, when I'm done with this one here, I'm going to go back to the Mercedes dealer. To, I'm going to go get that other car. And I'm thinking, okay, well, look over here. I'm driving a Hyundai Sonata. <laughs> you know, and I was, but, but it was so, um, like to Vic's point, yes. don't be resentful of them. Somehow they worked hard. They, they did their, you know, their, put in their, mm -hmm. um, their time. And that's why they can drive a Mercedes and right. talk about getting a Mercedes every two years or, right. or every year or something. Yes. Okay. So, um, I, again, money is not the be-all and end-all of success um, or to measure accomplishments. But, quite frankly, you can do a whole lot more if you have a lot more money. You can yeah, give to a whole right. lot more people. Yes. Uh, yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, I just kind of keep that up here and I keep chugging along with the time that I have to get our website up and going. Mm -hmm. Kind of our, you know, our business, our long-term goal of trying to get uh, you know kind of things going and, and I'm I'm very happy with things uh, the way they are okay um, and yeah so I, I, I thought that was very timely yes uh, so that's it that's on this Thanksgiving thing. episode yeah, yes. exactly be, uh, and be yeah, thankful for what you have be thankful, be for, thankful what you have. for how far you've gotten in life sure and, you know um, yeah I have no complaints yeah I, I honestly have no complaints yeah. you know good okay so uh, shall we get on to the joke of the day I bet people are 
falling asleep right. saying, uh, where, where is that when joke? are the jokes coming? Well, they're here, okay. ladies and gentlemen. All right, so these jokes are Thanksgiving-oriented, and uh, they're, they're not out of the Jokopedia. Oh, That's, okay. The Jokopedia book is sitting wow, home we're going on the rogue shelf. today. Yes, we are. <laughs> so I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that the website that I pulled these from work. These are from uh, distractly.com. All right, so... I was going to serve sweet potatoes with Thanksgiving dinner, but now that I sat on them, I'm serving squash. <laughs> <laughs> what did the hipster say the day after Thanksgiving? What? I liked the leftovers before they were cool. <laughs> yeah, now, I didn't say these were fantastic jokes or anything. If pilgrims were alive today, what would they be known for? What? Their age. <laughs> <coughs> that was pretty good. What do you call a turkey on the day after Thanksgiving? What? Lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Did you know that? All right, oh, pipe down over yeah, there. Yeah, pipe yeah. down. All right. Did you know that Thanksgiving is the only holiday where you eat the mascot? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, too. And what do you call a stuffed animal? What? You after Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh. Okay, couple more, couple more. Oh, oops. I'm sorry. Yep, couple more. All right, if April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? What? Pilgrims. Oh, I get it. Right, May flowers. All right, if pilgrims traveled on the Mayflower, what do college students travel on? What? Scholarships. Oh, okay, good. We hope. <laughs> yes, yes, we hope. Keep we our fingers crossed. Couple more years. <laughs> What do you get if you divide the circumference of a pumpkin pie by its diameter? What? Pumpkin pie. P-I. P -I. Oh, <laughs> I guess. Get it. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Where's That's, our wah, wah, Yeah, wah, that, wah. that wasn't, well, that wasn't really my favorite Probably if one. you had, had a picture of it, it would yeah. probably be yeah. a little bit. Okay, so there, those are our bad, jokes. Though. All right, yeah. you know, give us, hey, you, you know, let us know, um, Oh, please bring back Joker. Ha, ha, ha. Go Thanks, easy Uncle on Brad. us. Please be yes. easy. You were just yeah. about to say constructive criticism. Yes, and boom, exactly. You have to. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, so can yes. somebody give us a little support <laughs> out there? You know. Thanks, Brad. Yes. It will be back next week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Does that yeah. bring yeah. us to yeah. uh, trivia? trivia. All Let's... right. Trivia. All right. Now, so get your typing fingers back. Out. By popular demand. Sorry about that last week, Barber. Uh, yeah. We didn't do. Uh, Trivia last yeah, week. Yeah, we, we didn't we do brought trivia. brought it back this week. And we heard about it. Yeah, we did. And that's good. I like getting mm -hmm. feedback from our audience, you know? As big as our audience is, they have time. Yeah. May, well, maybe not to, from Brad anymore, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, he's good for a couple of weeks. Thanks, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get one uh, comment every three uh, weeks. Ah, great. <laughs> hey, Jim, everybody's hopping on board now. Oh, All man. right. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go to our trivia. Uh, ooh, we have hopefully a little music is going to work today. Okay. There we go. All right. And this is. So this is a little uh, soundtrack for our uh, Thanksgiving. Well, it's not really Thanksgiving trivia, but it's Thanksgiving special. So uh, this is the Trio Sonata in F Major, Opus Number 5, uh, Movement 2, the Allegro. Uh, by George Frederick Handel. Oh, very nice. Yeah, so we thought that this would go well for Very our... seasonal. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to our trivia. Get ready to answer questions. Type in the questions. We'll come back to the trivia in a little bit to... Uh, type in the to, answers. To, yep, to uh, fill our... Uh, that's right. You, wanted, you want to type in the answers, right? Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Thanks for correcting me right on the air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no problem, bro. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, a word that is spelled the same way forwards and backwards is called a what? Oh. I know, I can't think of that one either. Mm. All right, what gives red blood, blood cells their color? What gives red blood cells their color? Hmm. Tapestry Inc. Incorporated with a stock ticker symbol of TPR is more commonly known as what retail store and line of products? Hmm. Mm. Boy, these are tough. Yeah. Who became both a vice president and a president of the United States without ever being elected to either office? Hmm. Hmm. When referring to an establishment that sells alcoholic drinks, what is the word pub short for? Oh, I know that <laughs> one. Wow. Woo now we're feeling good. All right. Wrangell uh, St. Elias, the largest national park in the U.S., is located in which state? 
Oh, I've I'm heard hoping, of it. Yeah, nearby. I'm hoping I'm saying it right. Big. The adult human skeleton is made up of how many bones? Oh. Mm. Papua New Guinea is bordered by which country to the west? All right. What are the first names of the lip-syncing musical duo known as Millie Vanilli that earned a Grammy Award in 1990? That was a whole embarrassment. Yes, it was. Uh, if I had a million dollars, is a song which Canadian music uh, in a song which Canadian musical group? If I had a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, right? Is yeah, a song like by a which Canadian musical group? Huh? Sorry, know. folks. <laughs> We're it's, trouble, early. Yes, it's early. It's early. When referring to cables used to transmit audio video, what does HDMI stand for? Oh. Okay, so let's go wow. back and review these. Goodness. Uh, where it's spelled forward and backward is called what? How do uh, red blood cells get their color? Tapestry Inc. is what retail store? Um, president that was never elected to vice or uh, presidency. Uh, when referring to it, what is a pub short for? Wrangell St. Elias. National Park in what state? How many bones are in the human skeleton? Papua New Guinea is bordered by which country to the west? What are the first names of uh, Millie Vanilli? Million Dollars is a song by which Canadian musical group? When referring to cables, what does HDMI stand for? Okay, shall we Go move to, on? Yes. Yeah, because well, we don't. Gonna, it's going to be a tough that's one. That's a tough one. I, is anybody feeling anything here? Yeah, I don't know if I see anybody well, jumping we got, in Barbara's here. got one. Hey. Ah. Let's see. Well, hey, yeah, Joy. we got a couple. All oh, right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Joy knew that one. All right. Good to see you, Joy. All right. Let's move on to some Thanksgiving here. Um, now, I will say that I believe some of these Thanksgiving trivia are some of the same ones that we talked about last year, but they're worth kind of reviewing. And it was a year ago. It was a year Thanksgiving's ago. Thanksgiving's kind of the same every year. Yeah, it, it's been around for a while. Yes. Okay. The first Thanksgiving was actually a three-day celebration. Um, today, it's one day, unless you count Black Friday. But apparently, the Pilgrims wanted to party even harder. Governor William Bradford organized the feast, inviting the Plymouth colonists Native American allies, um, but it was only until the it wasn't until the Wapamone guests came and joined the Pilgrims, and they decided to extend the affair for like three days. Okay, uh, so they were the partying group there. So the Indians, were, Native Americans, were the party animals. Yeah, huh? Get yeah they know how to do it. Yeah, it's unclear if colonists and Native Americans ate turkey at their feast. There is truly no definitive proof that the traditional Thanksgiving entree was even offered to guests back in 1621. However, they did indulge in other interesting foods like lobster, seal, and swan. Oh, okay. Lobster sounds good. I'm not so sure about the seal. That's kind of their version of surf and turf, I guess. I guess, yeah. Okay, today, a part I of... I did like his one song, uh, something about the rose. Go ahead. Seal. Seal. I, I, it took <laughs> me, you know, just a split second. Today, a part of Plymouth, Massachusetts looked just as it did in the 17th century. Modeled after an English village and a Wapamone... <laughs> Waponeg home site. Well, I'll learn how to say that word soon. The historic attraction in Plymouth Plantation stays true to its roots. You can order tickets as early as June to attend Thanksgiving dinner, complete with numerous authentic courses, wow. tales of colonial life, and centuries-old songs. Notice the spelling of Plymouth Plantation in that statement, and notice what it how it's spelled in the title. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't well, know. I under, thought it was underscore, and I've seen it um, on different uh, websites. Spelled that same way with the P L I. So I'm going to have to do a little research to find out why it's spelled P L I. Hmm. Okay. All right. While President Thomas Jefferson refused to declare Thanksgiving as a holiday, president, presidents really originally had to declare a holiday every year. History says Jefferson refused yeah. because he strongly believed in the separation of church and state. Since Thanksgiving involved prayer, he thought making it a holiday would violate the First Amendment. Okay. Very interesting. Hmm. The woman behind Mary Had a Little Lamb is responsible for Thanksgiving's recognition as a national holiday. In 16, or 1863, writer and editor Sarah Joseph Hale convinced President Abraham Lincoln to officially declare Thanksgiving a national holiday. That occurred every year. She wrote countless articles and letters to persuade the president and the rest is history. She, Lincoln probably just got completely fed up. And said, yeah, yeah just, God, we got to do <laughs> yeah. whatever she wants. Just get out of here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> the first Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade didn't feature any balloons um, in its debut in 1944, but it, or 1924. It did have something that might be even cooler than balloons. It had animals from the Central Park Zoo. I guess it got a little messy, so they... How do you get them to float? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That'd be a really windy day, right? <laughs> but we have Good Housekeeping Illustrator to thank for Parade's first balloon. German-American illustrator Tony Stark, who completed illustrations for Good Housekeeping, also had a passion for puppetry, which he used to uh, make the amazing floats come to life in 1927. I will say that that Ooh. float there is a little scary. Yes. I, I'm yeah, just going to say. The one in the back? Yeah. They're, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they should float away. No, there were scary times back then. Yeah, in 1839, Thanksgiving was celebrated. Uh, 1939, thank you, again. Um, Thanksgiving was celebrated on the third Thursday in November, not the fourth. You might think President Roosevelt could uh, predict the future as he channeled a Black Friday mindset in making his decision. Even though the holiday had been celebrated on the fourth Thursday since its official recognition decades before, Roosevelt bumped it up a week, adding seven more shopping days to the holiday season. Americans, yeah. uh, to say the least, did, did not love his change, so it officially uh, was switched back in 1942. So it was only a few years. A couple years, okay. Okay, Thanksgiving mix-up inspired the first TV dinners. I like this one. 1953, Swanson employee accidentally ordered a colossal shipment of Thanksgiving turkeys, 260 tons to be exact. Wow. To get rid of them all, salesman Jerry Thomas came up with the idea of filling 5,000 aluminum trays with the turkey, along with cornbread dressing, gravy, peas, and sweet potatoes. The 98 cents meals were a hit. Within one year, over 10 million were sold. Wow. Yep, that's TV something. dinners. About 46 million turkeys are cooked for Thanksgiving each year. It's tradition after all. And on Christmas, 22 million families host an encore with another turkey. So that's a lot of turkey. Yeah. 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 I'm feeling bad for those little things. <clears throat> Not everyone eats turkey on Thanksgiving. According to National Federation, only 88% of Americans chow down on turkey, which begs the question, what does everybody else eat on Thanksgiving at 12%? You might consume oh. up to 229 grams of fat during the big meal. We hate to break it to you, but that's about three to four times the amount of fat you should eat in a day. Wow. You're probably also wondering how many calories? Unfortunately, an entire Thanksgiving meal could total over 3,000 calories. Yeah. Turkey's Every, pardoned by the president. I'm sorry? Everybody's got a jog the next day. That's right. Turkey's pardoned by the president go on to do some pretty cool things. Uh, Bush pardoned the first turkey in 1989, and it's a tra tradition that persists today. But what happens to those birds that don't get served uh, with mashed potatoes? In 2005 to 2009, the turkeys went, were sent to Disneyland and Walt Disney Parks to serve as Grand Marshal in their Thanksgiving parades. And from yeah. 2010 to 2013, they vacationed at Washington's Mount Vernon's estate. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah. All right, couple more here, folks. Only male turkeys actually gobble. You may have been taught in preschool that a turkey goes gobble, 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 but that's not entirely true. Only male turkeys, fittingly called gobblers, actually make the sound. Female turkeys cackle instead. We 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 didn't mm. get the uh, cackling part. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> let, let's just leave that. Let that rest there. Most before. Americans like Thanksgiving leftovers more than the actual meal. Almost uh, ten agree. Uh, Eight and ten agree that second helpings of stuffing, mashed potatoes, and pie beat out the dinner itself, according to 2015 poll. Butter bowl turkey line answers almost 100,000 to call each season. Okay, and we're going to go on. There are four places in the country named Turkey. All right. The U.S. Census has identified another four called Cranberry and a grand total of 34 dubbed Plymouth. Uh, 50,000, 50 million pumpkin pies every Thanksgiving. A uh, couple more here. Busiest day of the year. For plumbers is on Black Friday, thanks to all <laughs> that food we gobble up on Thanksgiving. Rotor Rooter reports that kitchen drains, garbage disposals, and yes, toilets wow. require more attention the day after Thanksgiving than any other day of the year. That's awesome. All right, that's the that's the best. And uh, you can read the rest of that, but uh, that's our little bit of Thanksgiving best day. Fact. Yeah, um, very good, Joel. Very yeah. good. All right, so are we ready to go back to our trivia answers? Time. We still got people with us? Yeah, we've we got still got some, a few uh... there. Okay. All right, we're going to do that. We're going to get to our birthday minute. We're going to be out of here. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah, we got a couple of answers here on our trivia. So let's see who, who won. Okay, who. so trivia. And we're going to get the music going back on here, too. I Again, like our prizes are the same as last week. Uh, they are, they're non-existent, but it's great that everybody's <laughs> playing along here. Yeah, we like that when you join us. Okay, do we see the, uh, just making sure we see it on the screen there. Okay, a word that is spelled forwards and backwards is called a what? And I think we had the answer here. Um, uh, a palindrome. The oh, answer is... okay, yes. Yay, palindrome. palindrome. Good job, Joy. Uh, moving on. What? What gives red blood cells their colors? Anybody have that there? I was going to say iron, but... 
Um, okay. No. Let's find out here. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Yeah, okay. That's, see, that's that's a big word. That isn't does, that damn. That's that's where uh, the Delaware Bay hits the ocean. No, that's Cape Henlopen. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I knew you were going whoa, somewhere whoa, with that. Whoa. Tapestry Inc. with a stock simmer of TPR is is what retail store. store. Did anybody get that? I don't um, know. I'm going to say Target. No. Oh. Coach. Coach. What's that? Coach bagged. Oh, oh. So, yeah. Okay. All right, hmm. who became president and vice president without ever being elected to either office? We've got two. Uh, yeah, we have some yeah, Barbara here. and uh, Brad Ford. And, and, and Jim. Yeah, is that right? Gerald Ford. Gerald Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know he was All right. vice president. What's the answer to this one? What does a pub stand for? Public house. Public well, house. Survey right sense. Well. Yay. Yay. That's what we do. Wrangell St. Elias is, is in what state? Gosh. Answer is... Alaska. Wow, okay. And I wonder why I didn't know. I haven't been to Alaska yet. Okay. Well, how many human bones? How many bones in the human skeleton? Answer is 206. Wow. Wow. That seems a little bit on the low side. I, I thought it'd be a little bit higher than that. Okay. Papua New Guinea is bordered by which country to the west? Anybody get this one? All right. Let's find out. Indonesia. Oh, wow. I would have okay. been way off. I don't know. First names of Millie Vanilli. What are the first names of Sim? No, that's first names. No. no. Yeah, let's find out here. Uh, Rob and Fab. Fab, yeah. Ron? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> which Canadian group, if I had a million dollars? All right, answer I don't know is. Who that is, either. I don't know. They're bare naked ladies. Ah. How about that? All I don't right. remember that song. Okay, referring to cables used to transmit audio video, what does HDMI stand for? High definition something. Uh, I don't know. It's musical interface. I don't know. Multimedia interface. Oh, multimedia. Wow. Nice. Okay. Between well, the two of us, we actually yeah. got it right. We got uh, yeah. 75% of that. Okay. All right. Good job, folks. Excellent job on the trivia. Bravo. Bravo. I want to know what salmon. Barbara said salmon? I, I yeah, I, I see that. I'm not quite sure what that, yeah. what that was referring to. But uh, okay, so let's move on. I think it's time for the birthday. It is time for the birthday. We need to we need to let all these folks go. Go do uh, continue on your Thanksgiving Day plans. Yes. Um, And then uh, yeah, so off we go. Let me find the birthday minute, and this is it. Let's make sure I have a little bit of volume here, and we're keeping our fingers crossed that everything actually kind of works. Right. Here we go. And now it's time for the Smacking Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Flock of geese. <laughs> birthday minute, birthday minute, birthday minute, birthday minute. Yay! Goodness, boy, that was tough. I almost forgot that. Okay. Where'd you go, Keith? Keith uh, left me all alone here. Yellow. All right. There we go. <laughs> For the end of it. All, all right. right so, well, well, let's we, do we our some, uh, celebrities. celebrities. Yeah, Birthdays celebrities. First. This is kind of funny. These three. My... <laughs> it does sound <laughs> Coming through on the phone there. Danny DeVito. Uh, from Taxi and tons of uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, all sorts of stuff. Lauren Hutton, she was in, uh, uh, she was a model back in the '80s, '70s, and '80s. Uh, and Lauren Michaels from Saturday Night Live, producer. They were all born on this day, 1944. Wow, and that's something. Yeah, yeah. Our, our dear friend Marty Scorsese, and we call him Marty because now we're all in the develop, you know, production. You know, we're all in the same business. Yeah, we're all so uh, yeah. Martin Scorsese was born this day in 1942. Uh, Gordon Lightfoot. If you could read my mind. Remember that uh, <laughs> kind of the good music back in the 70s, but when you got done listening, you kind of wanted to hang yourself. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> Gordon Lightfoot was born this day in 1938. <clears throat> Goodness, he's old. He's almost as old as Pop. And uh, Louis the Louis the 18th of France, born this day, 1755. Wow, well, so, happy birthday yeah. to Louis. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Louis. Uh, yes, happy birthday. So, okay. what do we got closer to home, Joel? Yeah, closer to home here today. Starting today on uh, what is today? The seventeenth of November. Seventeenth of November. Yeah. Yes. All right. Goodness. We begin today with Kara, Janet, Michael, and Robert. Happy birthday today, guys. Happy birthday. All right. Moving on to tomorrow, Sunday the eighteenth is Kara. 
Happy birthday, Kara. Happy birthday, Kara. All right, Monday the 19th, we have John and Mike. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Tuesday, November 20th, we have Claire, Gary, Jenna, John, and Rich. Happy Ooh, birthday, birthday, guys. Birthday, yeah, everybody. big day on Tuesday. Awesome. Wednesday the 21st, we have Pamela, Tony, and William. Or I should say Bill. All right, happy birthday, guys, on the 21st there. Okay, Thursday the 22nd happens Wait. to be... Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. Um, Ayako, Gwen, Michael, and Rob. Happy birthday, guys, on Thanksgiving. Happy That's going to be a great day for yes, you. Yes, it will. Okay, 23rd, Black Friday, is Al, Jennifer, Liza, and Tina. Yay, happy birthday, guys. <clears throat> and on next Saturday, the 21st. Which is Small Business Saturday. Everybody Ooh, remember yeah. that. Okay, small Go out, seven. shop local, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to say something more about that at the end of the show. Yeah, but okay. Go ahead. Whose birthday? And, and to celebrate that particular day on the 24th, we have Tanya's birthday. Happy birthday, hey, Tanya. Happy yes. birthday, Tanya. Okay, so. I hope everybody has a fantastic birthday this week. It's a very special week to have a birthday. And uh, yes, maybe a grand for you, okay? Yeah. So we're going to get ourselves out of the birthday in a minute and wrap this thing up. And that was. It's right. always fun. Always fun to uh, give a nod out to uh, people having their birthdays yeah. in the coming weeks. And um, you want to say something about the um, yes. Small before business. we yes, uh, Black Friday is always you know synonymous with going out to the, your big box stores and getting yep. the best deals. And uh, <clears throat> Saturday is Small Business Saturday, which means go into town, go into media, go into Westchester, go into Westchester wherever Pike. your town is. Yes, uh, and and do some small business shopping. Keeping the small guy in business, because that's what America was built on, uh, yep. small entrepreneurial ship. And remember that um, that serves the community, not not these gigantic yeah. corporations. Uh, you're, you're feeding the, the owners, their kids, and so on and so on when, yeah. you go, when you go to small businesses. Support them and... Everybody is going to be happy for the and, and while you're holiday. out and about, you know, think about framing a new picture. Or oh yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> After all, we are in a frame shop here, so stop by, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Always have great deals going on. And uh, I guess that's about it, Joe. Yeah, I think uh, wrap we're, uh, up, get out of here. <clears throat> Sorry. Are we going to be on next week? Uh, yeah, let's try to have a show next week. Okay, we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I'm game. Yeah, okay. yeah. You have to, yeah. So, so keep in touch. We'll let you know if we're going to do a show. If not, we'll post something. Uh, it's going to be tough next couple of weeks for a holiday. So remember, uh, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. Thanks for being here, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. And we'll see you next time. All right. See you next week. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving.